Today we are in Durban, South Africa. We're gonna be having some of the best Indian food in South Africa. And we're gonna start off with the best bunny chow in the city at Goundins. But when I say this is actually one of the best dishes that I have had, I mean it. Done itself with Indian food, and that's a fact. So we are in Gowden's right now. It's actually pretty empty in here, but we came right after lunch. It was flooded with people, at least that's what it said on Google when you could see how many people are in the restaurant or how busy it is. So we came at a time pretty quiet, but I'm excited. I'm excited to try the best bunny chow in Durban. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. This is humongous. Holy. So I got the mutton bunny chow. I've never had this before and it's huge. This is only a quarter. You can get a half a loaf or you can get a quarter of a loaf and I got a quarter and this is gonna be more than enough for me. Now bunny chow is pretty much just a quarter hollowed out loaf of white bread and then inside you've got curry. And there's some cilantro on the top and then it comes with a little side salad. It's a big bite. I might have a new favorite Indian dish. Now this isn't just an Indian dish, this is an Indian South African dish created in Durban. This takes flavorful curry to a whole nother level. You can really taste the spices and the mutton is nice and tender. All right, so now I'm gonna try some of the curry, mutton, and the bread all in one bite. You can just see the bread has completely absorbed the curry. So I just have a feeling this bite is gonna be heavenly. So much flavor in every single bite. It's like each bite that I take is kind of like the first bite because there's so much flavor. And I feel like that is hard to do with a dish. This executes that very well. This looks so good, it's crazy. Maybe I'm from this side so you can see what's going on. I've never seen anything like this. Mm. Wow, that is good. Whoa. It's really, really good. It's so good. My bunny chow, which had mutton in it, was 90 rand, whereas Amir's, he got the vegetarian. It was only 45 rand, so a little bit of a price difference, but I'm still happy that I got mine because this is one of the best dishes, and I know I have said this before on my channel, but when I say this is actually one of the best dishes that I have had, I mean it. So we just drove about 15 minutes to a neighborhood called Point Waterfront. This is such a nice area. Right around the corner, it looks like an apartment block, but that's actually a cruise ship. So this is one of the cruise ship stops. We are gonna be getting some food at a place called Curry O's. And I assume it's supposed to be like curious. And I am very curious what this food is gonna taste like. So let's head inside. So this restaurant is actually about to be emptier than the last. And I know you're probably like, why does this girl keep taking us to restaurants that no one's in? But we are going in off hours, okay? Usually these places are jam packed, which we're going in off hours so you guys could hear me. So I got the chicken and prawn biryani. I'm really excited to taste it. It doesn't look like a traditional biryani dish. You got some lentils, some corn. It also looks really moist. So it'll be interesting. Now this is the special of the day. They do rotate their specials. So this is what I decided to go with today. It's actually a little bit drier than I thought it would be, which I like because I kind of like when a biryani is really dry, but it's really flavorful as well. Now the chicken, I don't know if you can see. It looks like there's so many spices on it. So I'm excited to try it.
I have somehow managed to eat 99% of this biryani and a whole dish of bunny chow, and we're not done. We still have more Indian food to come, so stay tuned. roti and chai. I've been so excited to come here all day. I love wraps and they're really famous for their roti wraps. I got the paneer masala wrap. We also got the tandoori palau chicken. We also got masala chai. Obviously we had to get a wrap and chai because it is called roti and chai. And then we also got some mango latte. This restaurant was actually started by a guy named Sandesh and his two daughters, Sayali and Medea. They loved making wraps. They didn't know much about the food industry, but one thing led to another. They started selling their wraps in food markets, and now nine years later, they have a few thriving restaurants. So supposedly this is where you get the best roti wraps in Durban, so we will see. This is the Tava chicken. I have never had this before in my entire life. Now, when they brought it to the table, I I thought this was cheese on top, but it's actually roti. With each bite, when you get the green peppers in there, you can taste the green peppers, you can taste the onion, you've got some grilled onions in here, and you can really taste the tandoori chicken. I think I'm just gonna pour the yogurt over the rice. You taste the yogurt and it kind of tames the spice in your mouth. This dish is really good. So next, we have the paneer masala roti wrap. This is really good. Before I even ate it, I could smell the spice from the masala. I know they're not using barbecue sauce, but there's some sauce that they're using that is somewhat like barbecue sauce, so it gives it a little bit of sweetness at the end of each bite. This is a really good restaurant. Like, I think I could eat here four days a week, which is a lot and I wouldn't complain. This is some really top-notch Indian cuisine. But I do wanna say, if you like cricket and you wanna see some really good Indian food inside of the stadium, stay tuned. over of this video, we're exploring stadium food. Although donuts aren't necessarily an Indian dessert, these just looked too good not to get. We put a caramel sauce, a chocolate sauce, and a white chocolate sauce. I love white chocolate, so I think that one's gonna be my favorite. But it looks so good, and then they put Milo on top. They're really soft. They just melt in your mouth. And then you get the richness from the sauce. Can I try one? Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna go for the chocolate one. It's next level. Wow. I know. We Pretty saw good. I saw so many people walking around with these donuts and I was like, okay, like why is so many people walking around with them? I know why. It's really good. Yeah. So Durban just won and we are in Durban's house because we are in Durban, obviously. And now we're gonna get some really good Indian food. We're gonna get some samosas. I had never heard the term samosa. I always just thought it was samosa, but here it says samosa. So we're gonna get some samosas first. And Amir is gonna get bunny chow. So I asked the guy that gave us the samosas, I was like, does anybody call it a samosa here? Is there only samosa? He was like, you're the first person I've heard that's ever said samosa. <laughs> so it is definitely samosa here. The samosas are really good. It kind of tastes like a cross between a spring roll and a samosa, which I like. It's really yummy. We got the potato samosas. I think there's green chilies in here because it's pretty spicy. It's really good. It's a really good samosa. It'll be interesting to see what bunny chow from the restaurant tastes like versus bunny chow from the stadium. I wonder if we'll like it just as much or if it'll taste even more fast foody. So I'm really intrigued. So this is the vegetarian bunny chow with bean curry. It looks absolutely delicious. 
The other one was 45 Rand too. Oh, that's true actually. Mine yeah, was yeah. 90. But this is at a stadium, so yeah, you yeah, expect yeah. it to be more expensive. If this was the first bunny chow I'd ever had, I would say 10 out of 10. But having the, but this is different also because I had the mutton bunny chow. So that's very different from what I'm having right now. This is the vegetarian bean one. But I'll say if I had never had the bunny chow from Goundins, this would be 10 out of 10, knock it out of the park. But it comes in a close second. Durban has outdone itself with the Indian stadium food. That's a fact. And we've come full circle. We started the video with bunny chow and we're ending with bunny chow. Mm. Oh my gosh. I really hope I can get this in the US. I don't think I can. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had some of the best food I've ever had here in Durban. So I had a lot of firsts. I tried bunny chow for the first time. It was just uh, one for the books for sure. So please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see me continue to eat some really cool food and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.